Spoon feeding has got a new meaning. You actually can feed on spoon. I didn't make this for the fun of it. There's a serious environmental issue, serious environmental concern that I had uh, when I was doing this. I was a researcher working on groundwater and my concern was rapidly depleting groundwater levels all over the world. More than half of a country is reeling under severe stressed groundwater levels. Why is this happening? Who is it that is uh, picking up most of the groundwater? When I looked at the data, I found that more than 70% of them are being lifted by farmers. Surprising to me. In a city where you got roads, buildings, pavements, everything that does not constrain, I mean that does constrain the recharge, on the, on the agricultural field there is no constraint for recharge. Why is groundwater depleting there as well? I understood that there is a faulty cropping system. There is extremely large water inefficient cropping that is going on. My concern was there is too much of rice being cultivated in light of the millions of tons of rice rotting in the warehouses, we have more than 200,000 hectares on an average getting a new area coming under rice. For your understanding, a million tons of rice requires irrigation water about 5 trillion liters of water or 5 cubic kilometers of water is lifted to produce a million tons of rice which has eventually rotted in the warehouse. The nation would not have been worse off had so much of rice not been cultivated. But on the contrary, the farmers are certainly worse off because many of the farmers are moving away from farming. This is what got me concerned. And where is this rice coming up? Rice area is coming up at, by replacing dry land crops like millets. And that was what I wanted to reverse. Why is millets getting replaced with rice? Millets unfortunately have got a poor man's cereal tag. It's consumed mostly by poor people. And the poor man wants to become rich. And so he's moved his dietary, uh, dietary pattern from millets to rice. And therefore there was a fall in demand. My concern was rice requires 60 times more water or 6,000% more water compared to millets. How can we bring about a water rational cropping system? That was my concern. How can we bring back the varying demand for millets? I cannot go back and say, come on, make jowar roti or bajri bakra or ragi mudda or whatever. No, nobody is going to listen to me because they want to get out of that poor man's tag and become a rich man by eating rice. They, they, they are satisfied. So what was my solution? I had to think and think and think and think. And once when I was flying back from Ahmedabad to Hyderabad, I got a solution. I was eating jowar roti, which was so hard that I had to actually break it into pieces and scoop like a spatula, scooped up my dal and curry in a field, in a village, and I thought, hey, if a two-dimensional spatula can work, why not a proper three-dimensional spoon? And so here it is. I made all this. So it's two birds with one stone. On one hand, I'd be able to create a huge demand for millets, and on the other hand, the obnoxious plastic will be out. So it's very cheap. Plastic is in because it's very cheap. So I worked for nine years perfecting the art of making the spoons which are sog resistant even when dipped in hot soups. There are no chemicals, no preservatives, no form of additives whatsoever. It is price competitive, it's almost as cheap as plastic. It's got a shelf life of more than three years. Now here's a very interesting thing. I, it's got a very long shelf life because it is dehydrated in the process of baking, the uh, moisture is removed to less than 2%. So I wanted to test how would this uh, other, you know, uh, if I can like or if people like a spoon, uh, naturally the insects would like it. So I did a cockroach test. So I put it in a place with a lot of cockroaches. Believe me, hydration levels is so low that the cockroach when it was injecting the saliva, the spoon was actually absorbing the saliva, not turning soft. So eventually the cockroach turned, turned thirsty and left and the other cockroaches were wise enough not to go there. So the next day morning when I woke up, I just saw only one hole on that and no more not even ants, and very interestingly, not even rats were tried to get onto that. It is so much dehydrated. It is just dehydrated up to that extent which will keep the pests away, not the people. Okay, so, and we've been able to come out with even a, a very environment-friendly packaging. Um, here is a spoon for you all to believe me. Seeing is believing. I can eat my spoon. Uh, it's wet, it's uh, climate is wet, so it's kind of turned soggy, a little soft, but it's otherwise quite hard. And uh, there we are, we are trying to beat the plastic out of market, uh, our prices are very competitive and uh, 
the market is responding extremely favorable and we are done with uh, a fully automatic packaging uh, production system. A prototype is made, packaging is done and there we are. Thank you.